Deuteronomy 32, 30. Hallelujah. Let me read. It says, let me paraphrase. One, we chase 1,000. Two, we chase 2,000. One, we chase 1,000. Two, we chase 2,000. It is, it is easier to win battles. When you have a prayer partner, your prayer partner is your, is, is, is your, is your partner. It is easier to win battles. So when, instead of facing that battle alone, how many wives, how many husbands are facing battles alone? And they are in marriage. And they are facing the battle alone. They are facing issues that they cannot share with their partner. You cannot share with your wife. There is a problem. You have a prayer point and you are the only one praying and you have a wife. No. One is to chase one. Two is to chase two, uh, 10,000. Together, you are to chase together. So if you are in that marriage, you have, you are as a couple, you are, you are confronting that battle alone, there is a problem. We are talking again about the expected advantages. So, when I have someone to hold my hand and we confront together, it's easier, that's what the scripture says, than if it's only me. There are certain prayers that, well, it's okay, you can pray alone, but it gets better when two of you are praying about it. Number three, you get your prayers answered more easily. I'm establishing all of this in the scriptures. You get your prayers answered more easily. Another expected advantage of a couple. So when you are praying by yourself, when you are praying by yourself alone, when you are praying by yourself alone, yes, God can still answer. I'm not saying that's why, you know, I'm comparing, it's been compared to, I say, more easily. I didn't say as an individual you can't get your prayers answered. But when you are two, it is easier. Matthew chapter 18 verse 19 says, Again, truly I tell you that if two of you shall agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. This is, this is, this is Jesus speaking. But let me draw your attention to some keywords there. If two of you, couple, shall agree, that's where a major problem is from my experience. Many couples don't agree in prayers. Oh, I, I, I can't. Many couples don't agree in prayers. And man, can I address you directly? The fact that your wife keeps quiet for you. I say this so many. The fact that your wife keeps quiet for you does not mean she's in agreement. Don't bully your wife. Don't bamboozle your wife to submission. Reason with him. If God can himself say in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, come let us reason together. Let's dialogue together. Let's, it doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you stupid. If you dialogue with your wife, if you discuss with your wife, two are better than one. If you discuss, there will be ideas that, that, um, that she will bring out that you may not know. And then I have discovered a lot of women or many women pray secretly against the desires of the husband. Yes, I can tell you. Many women pray secretly against the desires of the husband. Many of he said he said he wanted to do this. Uh, God did not allow it to work. He said he wants to seek transfer to so, so, so city. God did not allow the transfer to, to work. He said he wanted secret, but they would not tell the husband. Or maybe they mentioned it once and the husband shouted and said, No, I'm the husband here. What is wrong? What's wrong with you? This is what you are going to do. And then she keeps quiet. And many times, many women can even pray more than men, unfortunately. 
in one of the episodes that we did here, um, you can you can check it out on, on my YouTube channel. One of the episodes we did, we, 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 we did a topic, uh, the danger of wives being more spiritual than their husbands. Or the effect of wives being more spiritual. Because by my assessment, you, you find women more committed in the things of God. There's no justification for it. There's no reason why men should not be more serious. But you find out, check many churches, why is it that it's men or women that are more committed, that's, that, that attend churches, that attend prayer meetings, that all of that, than men. And then you find men giving excuses, I'm busy, oh, I'm doing this, all kinds of stories. But there's no justification in the scriptures. God expects us. So if not, even the disciples, God, Jesus Christ chose men. He expects men to be more serious. He expects men to be more committed. You know, there's, there, there's no gender bias. It does not excuse because you are you are a man. Then you are excused not to be spiritually serious. I mean, it doesn't hold water. You are supposed, if anything, to be a priest of your home. We had we had uh, some weeks to deal with that. Um, you can you can check it out on my on my on my YouTube channel on David Kolakewo. So I'm saying that normally you find women who pray more, and incidentally, if they are not in agreement with your with your with your prayer point or prayer focus, they could even be praying against it. You may not like it, but I'm telling you the the truth. What happens in many marriages? What happens in many homes? There are some women are are, are, are watching me right now. I have counseled women of in, in in that line, women who will have secret desire different. Why? So they are not in agreement, and that's the, that's the key. In this scripture, in Matthew 18, 19, it says, if two of you shall agree. So the question is, it's not if two of you shall pray about anything. Or if two of you shall just hold hands. If two of you shall just come together and do.